Leptin is the primary hormone that makes you feel satiated. So as in, I don't need to eat anymore, I'm full. I say it that way to distinguish it from what's often focused on these days with things like Ozempic. So GLP-1 is like the fullness in the stomach, like my stomach is full. But the GLP-1 does that by not allowing your stomach to empty in a normal, timely manner. So that's kind of a cheat to make you feel full. I'm not talking about cheating to make your stomach feel full by stopping it emptying. I'm talking about the actual feeling of satiation, like, wow, that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. And I feel great in my body. I've not, you know, I've got a bloated stomach or anything, but I just feel like I've had enough. So that's leptin. The thing, the hormone that's the opposite of leptin is called ghrelin. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. So when your ghrelin is high, you're hungry, almost irrespective of how full your stomach. I've taken stuff sometimes that uh, on, on the odd occasion that increases ghrelin. And I can tell you, even when your stomach's completely full, you're still hungry, like, because like your stomach being full is kind of related to whether you're hungry, but it's not the primary thing. The primary thing is this so ghrelin and leptin. And conversely with leptin, your stomach can even be not full and you can still feel satiated. And this is what everyone always teaches, right? Like uh, when they teach weight loss, but even just health in general, don't eat until you're full, eat until you're close to full, but not full, right? They often say like eat like 70 to 80% of your stomach capacity, don't eat 100%, don't wait until you're full. Well, that's impossible to do or to judge uh, correctly if you don't have leptin sensitivity. So leptin is the same thing as insulin in that the problem is not that you have a lack of leptin, so it's not like you have a lack of the hormone telling you that you are satisfied. The problem is that you are leptin resistant, meaning that the leptin is not getting through to the cell to give it the signal that you're satisfied. And so it's the same basic challenge. And so... In some ways, the leptin is actually like the master controller of the other systems, including the thyroid and insulin. So that's why I'm doing a little digression on leptin before I go back into diet.